Hi there folks, welcome back to um, Hand Made by Shirley and this is day 13 of the Gummy A Pan Advent Calendar 2023. So let's see, I have looked in it and I have cut out some bits because I'm conscious my videos are quite long and I don't want people to get too bored. I know it's nice to see the process but sometimes it, it can be a bit boring but you're always welcome to fast forward it if you don't want to watch me colouring or whatever. So today it's this lovely little plaque and um, a sort of um, torn die cut sort of um, just something like torn so that it looks a bit maybe shabby chic. So that's what it is today. So we'll pop that to the side just now. I've got some bits cut already because, as I say, my videos, I'm conscious my videos are going on quite long. So I've cut the first piece out of the, the die already and it looks lovely. So that's that. Okay. And then I've cut out the little plaque as well, which is really cut out nicely. So that came out of there. And I thought what I'd make was, I love my square card, so I'm going to use my normal 6x6 linen card. And we're going to, I've used the, um, it's, I'm not sure what this one's called actually. Um, I think it's called this, if you wanted to know. So it's the little um, gnome and a star. So I've cut that out already. I've also cut out this one, which is the Merry Christmas sign um, already. I've done that in a sort of paralysed card, cream coloured card, just for a wee bit of a um, difference. And I've also done that with a star. I've done two stars. So there's the star and there's the Merry Christmas in the paralysed cream colour so they're all cut out as well and I've, as I say I've cut the um, gnome as well and I'm going to colour him in and then I've also got this gummy a pan number 52 stencil which I might use I'm not entirely sure so I want to just go ahead I'm also going to do some um making a bit of a background on here as well and this will be my sentiment so pop these away to the side first and i'm going to do a bit of a background so i do need to bring it in um my glass my glass um work surface so it might be a bit glary, but won't be for long. So I've got some nice um, distress oxides here that I'm going to use to make my background. Um, so I'm going to try and go for sort of, I do love the, the blues, the salvage patina. Um, I've also got chip sapphire, it's an ink which will, will just sort of sit on top. And that will actually go in to the card um, because that's the difference between oxides and inks. Oxide, well, distress inks and distress oxides. The, excuse me, the oxides um, sort of sit on the top. Or is it the other way round? I can't think at the minute. But one or the other broken china and let's see let's do something and I've got a piece of old it's just an old the bag from one of the dies and I'm going to use that to pop on the background and I've also got a well I should have no it's over there a squishy bottle of water let's just get that as well there we go so let's just start. So what I want to do is I want to put some of these onto this glass mat and just give it a wee squish with some water and then get 
my plastic and just kind of dip it into there and then popping it on oh don't go in the thing i think i'll have to bring this up slightly so you can see popping this on at various bits just making a wee background there we go and then i'll just wipe that away that one and then I'll take a little bit of the salvage patina and give it a spritz as well. Do the same thing and just bring this over. Just makes a nice background with colours okay get rid of this one again and then let's try this the darker colour Sapphire. There we go. And a little bit down here. But that's fine, that's all there. Oh, there's a wee corner here. Let's just pop some there, and that's it. What I want to do anyway at the minute with my background. So just get rid of that off there, and then we can dry this off. So, two going on. Now we can take that away again. A minute, and we need it again. Pop it down there. So if I bring my card base, where have I put it? Here we go. Oh, I'm dropping things there. Right, let's just pop these to the side. So bring that back in. And I just um so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um colour in some of the actual oh where's the actual bit I had my die cut so I think I'll put these back in and colour these in. So pop this back in here. Where's its body gone? I don't know. Help! Where's the body? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Have we lost a body? It looks like we have. Don't know where the body's gone. I'm going to have to cut another one, haven't I? Right. There's the beard. Come on. And there's the nose. Where is the body? Which can't have gone far, surely. And the feet. Oh, here's the feet. We just can't find the body now. Oh. Where's the body gone? Is it under here? I don't think so. No, it's not under here. I'm going to have to cut another one, I think, because I can't find the one I've got. Unless it's stuck to, it's stuck to that plate or something. 
let's just have a quick look. No, not for a week. Let's just get these back in as much as we can anyway. Come on. You're going that way, little nose, if you'll get off my tweezers. Oh. Fiddle diddles. Right, in you go. Right, now. I'm going to give you some body somewhere. You don't see it. it. Looks like I'm going to have to cut another one because I can't see it anywhere about. It's not, not there. It's not there. I don't see it there. That is the strangest thing. Right, I've got a piece here that I can cut it out with very quickly. And then, hmm, it's a bit strange. I bet you'll find it after the video. Perhaps you're all shouting at me. It's under the. It's under the. <laughs> Never mind. I've done. I've cut it again. So. Oh, I didn't cut it. I embossed it. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, drinks. Let's cut it this time. <laughs> Put it the right way around. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's it. I've heard the crack. The crack means it's cut, and it didn't really do that the last time. So, there you go. I've got it. I've got it. I've actually cut it out of um, the wrong paper, but never mind, that'll do. Right, so let's go ahead and colour. So we want to colour it in some similar colours to what I've done this background. Something similar, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. So, um, let's see. So obviously I want some quite light colours, so um, well I want to do his beard a little kind of, I do want to do a bit of colour in his beard, so not using that huge side, just a few wee kind of bits that will create the look of hair, on beard hair anyway like that and then I can go over it with this very light I'm trying to decide if this is lighter or darker so there's that or there's is that the one I used yeah that was the one I used wasn't it it's about mid grey oh no it's quite dark um, let's just go over it in this ecru one, like so, so we can just go over the whole beard, like that. can't really see these other bits now. <laughs> oh well, let's see, let's try it again. Anyway, right, so the body, so the hand, I want to do a bit, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I want to do the hand in that sort of pink colour, probably a bit too bright, and the nose in that pink colour as well. Oh, that's coming out. And probably the feet I'm going to do in um, sort of, what do we do? We do it in the mid grey. Let's do his feet in that mid grey colour. Yep. And um, his hat, I think I'm going to do red. So I've got a couple of reds. I've got this red and I've got this one which is a bit darker. So let's go on to the darker areas, which I think might be. A little bit crease there with some of the with a little bit of 
shading down that side and maybe round to there a bit kind of -y. just do it all the way around now and then I'll go over it with this um, let's see which end that end and I know I said I was going to do it in these colours but it looks like I've not actually done it in these colours is it so I think I might have to do the hat again because I've not done it in the colours I said I was going to do it in. I mean, it might look all right. No, I need to do another hat. That was silly of me. <laughs> I just got carried away, didn't I? Right, let's just cut out another hat. Um, and pop it onto the smooth card. See, I just got so carried away. I was enjoying myself so much that I just forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Here we go. Right, Shirley. And there's a tiny little, little tiny finger off my finger. Little heart there as well that we can colour in. So popping that up there. What time are we at now? 16 minutes. That's okay. Right, so let's pop this back in. Hopefully we won't get any red on it. There's the wee heart. Right, so we're doing a sort of blue colour, aren't we? We're not doing um, a silly red colour. <laughs> right. So this, I think, is the darker one, this aqua, I don't know, turquoise. So we're just going round the edge of it, thinking about where the cat, the cat, the hat might crease a bit. So maybe that's there, there we go, and then we'll colour it in with this aquamarine. Colour. Oh, no, 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 stay in. There we are, that's better. Just help it to blend in a wee bit better. There we go. That. Now we need to do our body. So we want a, a, probably a similarish colour. So let's see. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just keep it the same kind of colour as the body. It is the as the um, hat even. So I'll put a bit there, a bit around his hand down there. All the way down that side, a little bit there, a wee bit there. Oh, can I keep this eye in there? Come on, stay in. And then maybe a wee bit over there and a bit there. Let's try that and then let's colour it in with this again. And blend it in a wee bit with that other colour. There we go. Oh, and a little heart. Let's make it. Mm -mm -mm. Get these two back in. I'm going to make that purple, I think. Or will I make it pink? Hot pink. Or will I leave it white? I might just leave it white. So, there's our hat. We don't need that one just now. There's our beard. We'll just construct him in a minute. And there's our feet. I'll keep the small ones on the paper just now because I don't want to lose them. So, let's come to our card base. Oh. Let's see 
of him sitting there. Kind of like that. And his beard goes here. His hat goes there, roughly. Yep, that sort of thing, I think. And then we can put our little verse on there maybe or we can put Merry Christmas on right let's just so let's just actually I'm just actually going to add a wee bit of um, silver mirror card Silver on the table, actually. You see, I've got gold. Maybe we just do it in gold. So, I'm going to cut this up because I don't need, I just feel that I need something else behind. So, if we get, go back to our lovely die cut from today's number 13, I might do that as well, just so that we've got. We'll pop that onto there and we're going to cut these two just to give it a slightly, I just want it to look a bit, have something at the back of these things I've already cut out. So we've got that bit which is lovely and We've got the other piece as well, which is really nice. So let's pop these back into that pocket. And pop that over there. And then we can just pop this back with a slight, maybe a bit like that, with a slight kind of, and a bit like behind that as well, which I think would look quite nice. So we would just pop that onto there with some glue. And so slightly offset it. So it's got a tiny wee bit of gold all the way around, just there, like that, okay, let's just put this on, and Pop it that way round for a change so it's a tenfold type card, just kind of there. Okay. And then I'm just trying to think if I will put this Merry Christmas on because I don't want it to get lost in. Well, I don't think it will get lost. I know there's a few wee bits I've got to bring out. And then that was going to go maybe like so on there. And I was going to put to you on that slightly there as well. And then put Mr. Nista, um, oh gosh, I've still got these bits. <laughs> yes, I think. So let's build up our, um, our gnome first. So I'm going to take these off just now. Just going to build up the gnome. Come on, feet of the gnome. Jeez. I'm not playing ball today. Right. So just pop. I could have done the gnome again with the um also with the 
um, in the gold and put you know gold onto the back of them as well but I've not really got I don't want the video to go on for ages which it would if I did that so I could have done that I could have made it all have gold shadow at the back of each piece but it's, it would end up being a really long video I'm sure <laughs> so just placing that there like that fine and then he's um beard which can sit just there top And his hat, and maybe put his nose on next actually, to be honest. His nose kind of goes there. So let's pop his nose on. Go, we'll just do his nose that way. It doesn't matter what way, I don't suppose. Put it. And his hat, just there. Which has moved, moved a bit. And we've got that tiny little heart we can pop in just there, white as well, a tiny tiny little heart. You can see it there. <laughs> just make sure that's in. Just there. Like that. Bring it up a wee bit more. And then let's see if we can pop the star to get the star. Yeah, it is the star. So let's pop the star together. So just a wee dot in the middle. And then I want to kind of rotate it like that. Can you see? So, no, so it's got a bit up here. What's it? There we go, that's better. Oh, so it'll stick. Come on, stick on. Tree, that bit. I'll press it down for a minute or two, or a second or two, even, and then take that off. We can. Maybe put that there. We'll just leave that for a minute and then I'm going to um, just pop this together onto the card and just do it like a drop shadow again. Just a little bit of gold going round it. Kind of off there and Bit that way. Yep, that'll work. And let's just pop this Merry Christmas on. Mm -hmm. Maybe need to just. Where's the Merry gone? <laughs> Where's it gone? Right, let's just pop some of these wee bits out not come out when I cut it. I didn't manage to poke them out. This is a very delicate one. This bit is lovely. It's a nice font. But it's very delicate. But just take your time and there we go. So 
I didn't use that, so that's fair enough. So just say I've got a little bit of something to do it on. Let me see. Um, let's just do it on this piece of paper that I did the um, inking on. Just put a wee bit of glue there. And then I just want to pop that in there. And then we can hopefully add this. Bring it down a wee. And maybe. see it that much but you do when you look close up I'll show you at the end what I mean right at a jaunty angle there oh. and let's just see what we'll put that in there Here, let's just pop that up here. Yeah, I'll just pop a bit in the middle. And we'll pop that to that side just to balance that out because we've got something down here. Like that. And then this wee piece, I'm just going to add another wee like, wording on it. So I've got some stamps over here I can use um let's see what would go on to that let me see let's see I don't know if this would work because that's too big that might work so that says made with love just for you so let's pop that there and see if that will go on just maybe not no that's too big that one then. Um, what else have we got in here? Nothing much. Let's see, I've got some stuff over here. Might be able to fit something on. What's that one? Down the bottom. Let's just see this one would fit on. These are old stamping up um, ones that I've got here. Stamps. Let's see. I think that might fit on. Yeah, let's put that on a block. Probably should have done this before I stamped it onto the uh, put it onto the gold, but too late I've done it now. <laughs> done it now. I'm just going to do it in a nice blue colour. So I've got this sort of got under here. Um, a very very old gold metallic ink which I'm going to try these are like old I've got a silver one and a well, champagne one so I'll try it in this colour just because it, it's in keeping with the kind of rest of the card so let's just pop that in there make it as tight as possible and just give it a wee bit of pressure And then let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's okay. It's not, not that, but that's fine. And let's just pop that on and then we'll be done. Right, so I'm just popping that on. I'm trying to decide where is best to put this. So I'm bringing it down. I could put it here. There, I wonder. Let me see. I think it looks better actually up there. Let's put 
To be honest, let's just pop it on there. So that's straight. And that's number 13. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and thank you again for all your new, the new subscriptions and for all my present subscribers. I really do appreciate you coming on, watching this, these videos for the advent calendar and um, subscribing. And please remember to share as well because there's lots of people who probably haven't seen my videos yet. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.